during the reign of David, there was a famine for three successive years. So David saw the face of the Lord. The Lord said, It is on account of Saul and his blood-stained house. It is um, because the Gibeonites, uh, he put the Gibeonites to death. The king summoned the Gibeonites and spoke to them. Now the Gibeonites were not a part of Israel, but were survivors of the Amorites. The Israelites had sworn to spare them. But Saul and his zeal for Israel and Judah tried to annihilate them. David asked the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? How shall I make amends so that you will bless the Lord's inheritance? The Gibeonites answered him, We have no right to demand silver or gold from Saul or his family, nor do we have the right to put anyone in Israel to death. What do you want me to do for you? David asked. They answered the king, As for the man who destroyed us and plotted against us, so that we have been uh, de de decimated and have no place anywhere in Israel, let seven of his male descendants be given to us to be killed and exposed before the Lord at Gibeah of Saul, the Lord's chosen one. So the king said, I will give them to you. The king spared Mizpah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of, an o of an, the oath before the Lord between David and Jonathan, son of Saul. But the king took Ammonai and Mizpah, the two sons of Adah's daughter Rizpah, whom she had borne to Saul, together with the five sons of Saul's daughter Merab, whom she had borne to Adriel, son of Bizarai, the Melorite. He handed them over to Gibeonites, who killed them and exposed them on a hill before the Lord. All the seven, seven of them fell together. They were put to death during the first days of the harvest, just as the barley harvest was beginning. Rizpah, the daughter of Adia, took sackcloth and spread it out for herself on a rock. From the beginning of the harvest till the rain poured down from the heavens, on the bodies, she did not let the birds of the air touch them by day or the wild animals by night. When David was told Abijah's daughter Rizpah, Saul's concubine, had done, he went and took the bones of Saul and his son Jonathan from the citizens of Jabesh Gilead. They had taken them secretly from the public square of Bethshan, where the Philistines had hung them after they struck down Saul, uh, struck Saul down on Gibeah. David brought the bones of Saul and his son Jonathan from there and the bones of those who had been killed and exposed were gathered up. They burned the, the, buried the bones of Saul and his son Jonathan in the tomb of Saul's father Kish, Azilla and Benjamin, and did everything the king commanded. After that, God answered prayer on behalf of the, the, behalf of the land. So what did ダビデが主の御心を伺うと、シャオを捨てられた。サウルとその一族に、小長した罪がある。彼がギビオン人たちを殺した腹だ。えっと、そこで王はギビオン人たちを呼び出して、彼に彼らに言った。ギビオン人
法を取って彼らをギビオン人の手に渡した。それで彼らはこれらの者たちを山の上で死の前に晒し者にした。これら7人は一緒に殺された。彼らは借り入れ時の始め、大麦の借り入れの始まった頃、死刑に処された。あやの娘、リ,リツバは天布を脱いでそれを岩の上に敷いて座り、借り入れの始まりから天の雨が雨が天から彼らの上に降る時まで、昼には空の鳥が、夜には野の獣が死体に近寄らないようにした。サウルのそばめ、アヤの娘、リズバのしたことはダビデに知らされた。それとダビデは言って、サウルの骨とその子ヨナ,ヨナタンの骨とヤベシュ・ギリアテの,の者たちのところから取ってきた。それはペリシテ人がサウルをギブオンを屋に殺した日にペリシテ人が彼らを晒したベテシャンの広場から彼らを盗んでいたものであった。ダビデがサウルの骨とその子ヨナタンの骨をそこから携え登ると人々は晒し者にされた者たちの骨を集めた。こうして彼らはサウルとその子ヨナタンの骨をベンヤミンの地のツナにあるサウルの父、キシュの墓に葬り、すべてをが命じた通りにした。その地神はその国の祈りに心を動かされた。Once again, there was a battle between the Philistines and Israel. David down, went down with his men to fight the Philistines and he became exhausted. And Ishbanab was one of the descendants of Repa, and whose bronze spearhead weighed 300 shekels, was armed with a new sword. And he said he would kill David. But Abishai, the son of Zerah, came to David's rescue. He struck the Philistine down and killed him. Then David's men swore to him, saying, Never again will you go out with us to battle, for, so that the lamp of Israel will be, not be extinguished. In the course of time, there was another battle with the Philistines at Gob. At that time, Sheshabai the Hezite did kill Saph and one of the descendants of Rechba. In another battle with the Philistines at Gob, El, El, El Nathan, the son of Jerah, or Jenin, At the Benthamite killed Goath the Giddai, who had a spear with a shaft like a waver's rod. In another battle which took place at Gas, there was a huge man with six fingers on each hand, with six toes on each foot, twenty four in all. He also was descended from Repha. When he taunted Israel, Jonathan's son of Shemia, David's brother, killed him. From there, there, these four were descendants of Repha at Gath, and they fell at the hands of David and his men. ペリシテ人はまたイスラエルに戦いを仕掛けた。ダビダは自分の家来たちを連れてくらり、ペリシテ人と戦ったは、ダビダは疲れていた。それでツバの人々の子孫の一人であったイシュプテ・ベノムはダビダを殺そうと考えた。彼の槍の重さは精度300シケル。そして彼らは正しい通儀を帯びていた。しかし、ツナの子アビシャイはダビダを助け、このペリシテ人を撃ち殺したその時ダビデの部下たちは彼に誓っていった。あなたはもうこれから我々と一緒に戦いに出ないでください。あなたがイスラエルの灯火を消さないためにその地、ゴレでまたペリシテ人の戦いがあり、その時、プシャ人ジ,ジ,ジベカイはラ,ラファの子、サラを撃ち殺した。サフを撃ち殺した。ゴレまでペリシテ人の戦いがあった時、えベツダヘム、チン、セ、ヤ、ヤ、ヤイルの子、あ、エルハナンは、ガデチン、ゴリアテの兄弟、えラ,ラフミを撃ち殺した。ラフミのヤリの絵は、ハタオリの巻き棒のようだった。さらに戦いがあったとき、そこに銃の箱、え手の箱、死の指が6本ずつ合計24本の指、の投資がいた。彼はまたラファの子孫であった。えー、彼はイスラエルの祖師たが、エサイの兄弟、シムアの子ヨ、ヨナタンが彼を撃ち殺した。これら4人はガリのラファの子孫でダビデとその家来たちの手にかかって倒れた。